Remote ischemic preconditioning, the temporary occlusion of arterial flow to distal extremities, has been reported to reduce biomarkers of ischemia and reperfusion injury in patients who undergo cardiac surgery. It may reduce biomarkers, but does this practice really improve clinical outcomes? In a prospective double-blind trial in patients undergoing surgery that required cardiopulmonary bypass, 1,403 study participants were randomly assigned to receive either remote ischemic preconditioning of the arm or a sham procedure after the induction of anesthesia. Remote ischemic preconditioning was achieved with four cycles of occlusion of the arm at 200 millimeters of mercury or more for five minutes with a blood pressure cuff. The primary outcome was a composite of death, myocardial infarction, stroke, and acute renal failure before discharge. The study found no difference in the primary outcome or in any of its components between the preconditioning group and the sham procedure group. The authors conclude that upper limb ischemic preconditioning does not show benefit in patients undergoing surgery that requires cardiopulmonary bypass. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.